What is up? This is my second video on sight fishing Big Corbina from the surf. And before I go any further, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. It's your support that keeps me motivated to keep on making these videos. So thank you so much for your support thus far. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the first slide here. And this is where I saw a single Corbina hanging out in super skinny water. And it brings me to my main point for this video, which is keep walking and don't spook. I was walking north to south on the dry sand as far away from the water as possible, but where I could still see this Corbina. When I saw this bean, I kept walking as if I had never seen him all the way to where I am now, maybe about 20 to 30 yards away. So in the second slide, this is all about structure. You can see in the illustration that there is plenty of shallow sand, but also if you look closely, this stretch of sand also has lots of mini structure. But what do I mean by structure? This next clip is from a different beach at low tide, but it's also very similar to where I was fishing in this video. The only difference is that the water was more filled in. It doesn't look like much, but when the tide is higher, Corbina are likely to hold in these small little cutouts, either waiting for bait to float their way or coming out into the hard pack to feed on the sand crab beds. This next clip is from the same beach I was fishing that morning, and this is a more defined structure where the flat skinny sand gives way to a drop off and a subsequent trough. I didn't get any there that morning, but if you let the current drag your bait into a drop off like this, the chances of you catching multiple fish is very high. So in any case, after I walked past the area I spotted this Corbina, I cast it parallel to shore but into slightly deeper water and let the tide and slight current drag my sand crabs into the strike zone. This bean wound up being just shy of 20 inches and it took me over 5 minutes to land. It was a feisty little guy. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Um, thanks so much for your support. Um, please subscribe if you found this helpful. Um, like I said, it really motivates me to keep making them. So until next time, tight lines. Yeah, baby. Got him. Got the one we're looking for, guys. A good sized bean. Um, I don't know how big yet. Was, ex was able to execute that and so very happy. Um, yeah, it looks like um, it looks to be 20. Um, he's not coming in for a while. Um, a decent sized fish for sure. We'll see what he measures out to. I'm guessing he'll need one more push after this. Yeah, he's not ready. I'm hoping this will be a new PB. got eyes on him the whole time. Um, he's around the 20 inch mark. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, yeah, he's just not ready. He's almost ready. He's trying to shake the head. He's trying to shake the, um, the hook loose, but... I am able to land this guy. It's gonna take a minute to revive. Not ready yet. Oh yeah, baby. 
I don't know if it's bigger than the one I caught, but it's definitely fatter than the one than my PB. Oh my goodness. Let's see what she measures out to, guys. Chunky monkey. And just short of 20, but way fatter than my previous. 